When you hear the word Minecraft, liminal spaces are probably the last thing that come to your mind. However, beneath the surface of Minecraft as a silly block game, there is something in this game that resonates with many players as a distinct sense of liminality. A feeling of both familiarity and eeriness that you get when playing the game, or even when looking at screenshots of it. Have you ever been completely alone in a server after all your friends logged off for the night? Or have you ever built a huge city in single player just for you to be the only person in it? If so, so, then you have definitely experienced liminal spaces in Minecraft. In online aesthetics, liminal spaces are empty or abandoned places that appear eerie and often surreal. They feel familiar somehow and they usually convey feelings of nostalgia or sadness and elicit responses of both comfort and unease. Considering the fact that the main characteristics of liminal spaces include absence of other people, strangely familiar or nostalgic places, unnatural lighting, and an unsettling feeling of eeriness, it's no wonder that Minecraft seems like a liminal experience to so many people, including myself. Liminality means being in between two things without fully being part of either. For example, think about the time after school ends for the summer. You're not in the previous grade anymore, but the next one hasn't started yet. Hallways and stairwells are examples of liminal spaces because they're designed to take you from one place to another and not meant to be stopped there. Other places can sometimes feel like those. You're no longer where you were and not yet where you will be. That endless middle. Minecraft, especially in the older versions, often places players in a transitional state. The vast, open Open landscapes and the absence of specific goals create an in-between experience where players are not in their starting point and not yet at the final destination since the game is open-ended. The endless middle concept can be applied to the open and expansive nature of the Minecraft world. Players can find themselves in a continuous exploration phase, neither completing the game nor reaching a final destination. This perpetual state of exploration aligns with the idea of an endless middle. Minecraft shows liminal qualities by placing players in a continuous, transitional state where they are neither at the beginning nor the end. I'd say this feeling of liminality in Minecraft can mostly, if not entirely, be found only in the older versions of the game. And there are a bunch of reasons for that. First of all, we have the nostalgia factor. Nostalgia plays an important role in the perception of liminal spaces in real life, since they frequently feature places that we saw during our childhood years due to their nostalgic appeal. These are usually places like malls, schools, or playgrounds. This leads to a lot of people reflecting on the passage of time and thinking about their childhood when looking at those images. And it's the same in Minecraft too. The earlier versions of the game evoke a strong sense of nostalgia for a lot of us, and that definitely makes the liminal feeling way stronger, especially when we see something familiar from our childhood turn into something eerie or creepy. The visual aesthetics of the old versions really bring the liminal vibe together in terms of how it looks and feels. If you've ever played the alpha or beta versions, especially with a low render distance, you have most likely felt like you're being watched at some point or another by someone or something lurking in the fog. In the older versions like beta 1.7.3, which is the version I mostly play on. The only generated structures in the world are dungeons, and so that means there are no villages, desert temples, pillager outposts, or any other structure. The world is completely empty, with the exception of animal spawns here and there. This emptiness bears a striking resemblance to elements found in liminal spaces, which are often depicted as expansive, empty rooms in various images. In a way, you could say that the world in older Minecraft carries the essence of a vast, unending, liminal space. Now let's talk about the sound in Minecraft, or should I say, the lack of it. A part of Minecraft which I think makes the liminal feeling stronger is the sound design. The lack of any ambience noises in Minecraft, like birds, bugs, or even the wind, just leaves the player completely isolated from the world, in a way but at the same time completely immersed in it. I don't know about you, but I've had those moments playing single player when I have the music off and I'm just mining, hearing the blocks break, and then I hear footsteps somewhere nearby just for a split second and just freeze for a moment trying to listen. And even though I know it's pretty irrational since I'm all alone in the world, it still puts me a bit on edge. And I think that says a lot about the unintentional horror of Minecraft. The creepy part of Minecraft is not the fact that you are alone, but the thought that you might not be. And to be honest, seeing how unsettling Minecraft's world looked in the older versions, I'm not surprised at all that creepypastas like Herobrine started popping up in the Minecraft forums, which were centered around mysterious entities watching you from the fog outside of your render distance. The isolation 
animation of the player and the aesthetic of the game probably made people see and hear all kinds of things back then. Personally, the way I was introduced to the whole liminal aspect of Minecraft is by getting recommended those nostalgia slideshows of old random Minecraft pictures, usually with some C418 music playing in the background. You might have seen them before when you're recommended. They usually have a Minecraft screenshot as a thumbnail and some strange title like question mark. And this is pretty much how they go. And well, after I watched some of these, I was intrigued, so I went down the rabbit hole and ran into their spookier counterparts too, which basically take the concept of Minecraft nostalgia videos and add a creepy undertone to it by including pictures of liminal, unsettling or random places in Minecraft. Here are some examples. Okay, I'm sorry, but I just had to include that in the video, it was so good. Anyway, videos like these are so interesting because you don't know whether to feel scared, relaxed or distressed. And while they are terrifying at times, they are also comforting and nostalgic. Today, Minecraft isn't as empty or as uncanny as it used to be. Now there's way more stuff in the game. More structures, more creatures, more mobs, you name it. So that feeling of being totally alone in the world isn't as strong as it was back in the day, even if you are playing single player. And because of that, the liminal essence of Minecraft has also pretty much disappeared. Luckily though, you can always play on older versions to get that liminal feel again. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you didn't enjoy it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.